Hello, I'm Prakash. I will be taking a video KB on a session called Overview of Transliteration for the project Customer 360 Insights. So in this, we will, the agenda would be, we will see an overview of this feature. We will see how to configure it and how do you accomplish the same. As you all know, most of the customer data of multi-tier companies would have their data in various non-English languages because of all the records that they would see across the countries. Customer 360 insights, all their quality scans, their standardization functions and their matching comparators relies on English characters sets. So to bring all the data in a single platform we use this function called transliteration out of the box here we support 33 different languages this is a generic enrichment function which can be applied to any string attribute in the party data model okay. this accepts a input attribute which we term it as source attribute and we store the same in the target attribute after the transliteration is functioned. Out of the box, C360A has 12 sets of transliteration attributes. There are three options that are provided to this. One would be fixing the diacritics. Second would be overwriting the value. Third would be the casing. Now we will see how do we configure the same. Here, once you go how to configure is we will log into the C360i's configuration tool. We will select which configuration set we would need. We will move from the enrichments category to the configurations. And on here we will click on the on ingestion. The first function would say the translate rate selected business object attributes and here we will see all the parameters that is required the configurations so enrichments hyphen configurations dot ecf this will be the file which contains all the enrichment functions this is available in the combined workflows jar if you notice enrichment function id20 stands for transliteration function and these are the out of the box values that is present how this is mentioned is the business object the source attribute followed by the target attribute the business object syntax would be followed with the colon the source attribute then a hyphen then the target attribute you can separate multiple sets of attributes with a comma and when you want to move to the next business object you will have a pipe symbol these three flags are available in the all site config properties so here a proper command would be mentioned for every attribute you want you will be adding a value in the all site config properties for example, if you wish to see the person name to be in the upper case, then we will set all site dot enrichment transliteration casing person name dot local given name one. That is your source attribute. You will set it to U. The accepted values are L for lower, U for upper, T for your camel casing and I for ignoring it so as and how many ever attributes you would want you will have to keep the same similarly if you want to fix the diacritic for a particular attribute you will mention the attribute name you will also mention a boolean whether true or false if you want to overwrite an existing value with the transliterated value then you will be giving this particular attribute as true now 
how do we accomplish this let's for an example take we will have local country as the source attribute from the address this standardization like unlike other uh, trans standardizations we can definitely run it via a rest call or by executing the assembler phase you can ingest all the data in a batch workflow we will set the local country with a non latin character as mentioned here if there are no configurations are altered then the input would be processed and output would be standardized into lowercase and set into the field called original country the diacritics would be retained as it is and whatever transliterated final output is stored in the original country attribute if these configurations needs to be changed user can go into the all set config properties and as i mentioned in the previous slide they can go ahead and give their values now let's see a demo for the same this is how we accomplish the transliteration you can refer to our knowledge base articles or on the products documents for further information we would love to hear from you you can drop your feedback to the support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us thank you this is my input json where i have set a local country a source attribute with a non english character this is my request where i can get this ingested party so once i save this party i'll be able to get the same so if you notice the value original country is populated this is our input value and this is our output value since we haven't changed any of the casing or fixing diacritic it has retained as it is the values are loaded in the lower case the diacritics are kept as it is and after the transliteration is complete it has gone into the further processing of countries standardization